Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the council and part three of my playthrough. If you'll find yourself enjoying it, go ahead and click the like button. Leave me some love in the comments. Let me know what you think of the game so far. And click the link at the top of the description if you want to check out the playlist and go back to the beginning of the story as you're jumping in right here in the middle. But if you have been with me through the first two parts of my playthrough, let's carry on. I, at the end of the last session, guys, we completed our mission by going to bed. Fairly successful first day, and as a result of that, we now have four points to spend. Now, there were a f good number of missed opportunities along with our successes subterfuge was one of those things i wished i had obviously we're one point away on manipulation and there is a little highlight here psychology read people's behaviors like an open book oh right because we have fully unlocked that so i'm tempted to spend some of these points outside of our standard skill set guys we're working our way up on the conviction towards level two that's going to involve three additional points i would kind of like to unlock the subterfuge occultism questions Vigilance is another one that would be really useful. Gosh, the Vigilance one would be great. This is so tough to decide. Agility, I know that's going to be helpful as well. This is so challenging, guys. Okay, now the one thing I will say is in our inventory, we're going to be able to read a book to get a skill point in science, etiquette, diversion, or conviction. Interesting. Uh, so conviction, let's not spend any points on that for now. Let's go ahead and go one two three points to unlock level one on subterfuge and gosh that one on manipulation i'm gonna put one it's not gonna pay off yet but i'm gonna put one on vigilance right there and i think these are gonna come in handy that i think we need to spread these around and we'll use the uh the skill books uh, in order to to continue leveling these up let's go ahead and do that before we move on to whatever comes next in this adventure all right, equipping manuscripts. This is what I mentioned. Here, you can choose what to read during each adventure. Each manuscript you read confers skill points at the end of the quest. Parallel lives, that's for conviction, diversion, etiquette, and science. I think we'll go ahead and throw one more skill point into conviction. Okay, start quest, hold. There we go, guys. We are about to start a new quest, and I'm excited about it. Another vision. Okay, another room with blue walls. There's Sir Gregory playing chess with the man I can only assume to be the person who invited us here, Lord Mortimer. Right? Your turn? The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted, given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of de Richet's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. We but didn't we find her son room. in there. Perhaps he'll find something. That's because we're in it! That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. He will meet him tomorrow? Come on, this has got to be Lord Mort. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Okay, so... Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess... Napoleon Don't Bonaparte? Worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. Indeed, it's Napoleon. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Oh, damn. Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat, my friend. I think the cursor was on the screen. Sorry, guys. I don't know why. Oh, there's Washington. Uh, 
A little nighttime stroll, Mr. President? There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Indeed they do. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. So our last vision... Our last vision was a vision of the future. That's all we can assume. This one seems to be a vision of the present. I'm coming! Our door is being knocked on right now. And the president walked straight up to my door in that vision. All right, guys. Uh, give me a moment here to get myself organized. And we will either have a little look around the room, which we never got to look in this chunk of our, our room. Uh, or we will head for... Ooh, Okay, and I have the subterfuge skill, which I think means I can open that box over there. We'll do both those things before going to meet whoever is at the door. And if it's Washington, we know our visions are powerful. Stop knocking at the door, George. I'll be there in a damn second. All right, guys. Welcome back. I had to take a quick little break there, but we have now returned. As far as I know, George Washington is at my door, and we have our first opportunity to have a look yeah, around our shit. room. Please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us. By the way, enclosed, you will find a key that will enable you to retrieve the personal effects your mother left behind. Yours faithfully, Lord William Mortimer. Okay, guys, I unlocked the subterfuge skill, Dear Monsieur which I'm sure will come in value. Oh, pardon me. Dear Monsieur de Where's the key? Give me the key. There we go. I unlocked the subterfuge skill uh, with the ability to use it quickly on that box in mind. It seems that won't be necessary. Um, we're going to have a yeah, quick look around. Cliche. Well, come on. I thought I was looking at a Inspiration of St. Matthew, or Matthew writing his gospel, dictated to him by voices. Dear Monsieur de Richer. Okay. I thought there was one on those uh, cases there, but those are probably Last just my judgment. luggage. Why do I always get the most terrifying room? Good lord, these paintings are sketchy. Alright. Nothing at the desk. The incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio represented St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on, but doesn't touch. And... Because I had to quit the game and go back in, okay, Royal Jelly, uh, the knocking seems to have stopped. I hope Washington's still waiting. Okay, and we're the finding all kinds of Ixion, items. Condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. Oh, Lord. Okay. I'm seeing things. All right, and this was the box that I believe the key is for. Unlock. Oh, wait. No, no. Okay, golden elixir. Golden elixir. Did I have to use a skill point on that? Maybe that isn't the box I thought it was. There must be a box of mom's things floating around here. St. Francis of Assisi and Ecstasy. Before superior yeah, voices. <laughs> it always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. Alright, a new coin. And I am still intrigued by this shelf, guys. I don't have the agility skill to get up there. Reach or leave. Those are my only options. But look at the scrapes on that floor. I was Those were not lost on me. And I wonder where the, my, the key for my mother's things are. I don't know exactly. Oh, maybe this. Maybe this right here. There's a circle around the lock here. Must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. The key should open it. Okay, use the key. I can also use my subterfuge skill, but it'll cost a point. All right, that does look like another one of those amber fragments. I think that's all that's up on that shelf. Maybe it isn't a secret passageway at all. There's a note. Effects of Sœur de Richer to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. Okay, 
more royal jelly. And amber fragments. Okay. And let's see. Is the president still at the door? It's still asking us to go answer it. So let's see what awaits us. Excuse Our vision me. was true. Am I bothering you? No, no, not in the least. Is something wrong? I'm going to need your help. Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? Uh, I yes. bumped into her in the small salon before. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the vice president, John Did Adams. Did we speak about her? But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens. I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth okay. is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Oh god, guys, another really tough choice. Ah, uh, we, uh, we we skipped chatting with Georgie last time, but meeting Mortimer. I'm supposed to meet him tomorrow, but he's in there with Napoleon. Good Sir, I, Let's I don't do this. feel well. I'm going to have to decline. I see. Well... I hope you won't be needing my help one day. I must act swiftly. Oh, God, guys. I'll search my room later. We're burning bridges with Washington. This damn thing better be worth it. If this is Piaggi's letter all over again, we're screwed. And what if George comes back and we're not in our room? I mean, seriously. Uh, okay. I think this way was the fastest. Let's hurry. Louis, you're straying from your objective. Wrong. Spy on the men from your vision. This way. We know the vision's true. It must be. Okay. What have I found there? Another the coin. Chinese coin. I recognize Hurry, this by the cord a little. I'm close. If I remember. Multiple paths. There are multiple paths to reach your objective. It may be a good idea to think twice before on right. marking on the first That's path you come to. Cash. Okay. Find... Oh, who's that person up there? Find the room you saw in your vision. Good evening, sir. I'm sorry, but an important meeting is underway. My instructions are to let no one pass. I see. So that's where it's happening, in that room. I've just got to find a way in there. Okay, guys, let's take a look. Okay, okay, okay. So this is the room. We could get in from here. We could get in from here. There are back door. Oh, no, not from here. Okay, so there are back doors to either of these rooms. Perhaps our new subterfuge skill will let us pick a lock. Or maybe we talk our way through the, the servant. I think before that happens, it did say there are multiple paths. So, um... So, and, and don't always take the first one you come across. So let's take a look at this door right here. Whose room do we have here? Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Okay, we could talk to Emily. I mean, I think that's the best way to go, right? Uh, talk to Emily, or we take a look. There was a man in this hallway. Uh, okay. Or Jacques Peru. I could just open this door? Uh, and let's go to Emily's. I don't know who Jacques is. Oh, maybe he's not even here yet. You know what? Screw it. Let's see if Jacques's not here. Ready? Yes! I don't recognize anything in here. This must not be the room for my vision. No horse. A pattern with four circles. Use the key. Unlock. Oh, wow. We found some good stuff. Dear Monsieur Peru, I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. These funds will be crucial for the renovation of the western wing of the orphanage. The children you sent 
are doing marvelously well, and little Pierre will soon be walking. Some of them still sometimes... Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. We have no time to waste. Uh, okay. One sec here. Uh, added to your inventory Carmelite water map. Okay. So through the doors ahead of me... Oh, the balcony. Okay. It's, it's around the balcony. This is how we do it. Let's go. <sighs> this window's blocked. Damn. Move away. Okay. All right. Um, another one here. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, this is somebody's stuff. Fine quality boots. Given the size of them, the man they belong to must be pretty big. That must be the guy we saw in the hall. What is this? A weapon? No. Shoehorn. Let's try this, this one. If not, we're going back to Emily's room because we just broke and entered here. Damn it. Damn it. All right, I say we get the hell out of here before we're before we're captured. Uh, let's go. I don't want to investigate too much. We'll come back and we'll... Okay, okay, okay. Loading screen, that scares me. Oh, no, we're good. Okay, Emily. Emily, you are our only hope right now. No, I mean, I can still talk my way through that fool, but I don't want to. Duchess, I wanted to enter your room quite a ages ago. Let's do it now. Locked. Oh, God. Really? I gotta pick the lock. Wonder how do the servants go about their duties then? The servants change the beds every day. There must be a service key somewhere. Three points. She's gonna be in there and sleeping. Leave. One sec. Okay, one more. Let's ch have one more look. Okay, so we got Emily's room. There is one room around the corner here, but there's no door to enter it. So that's the bed. That's Emily's bedroom, through which we'd have to enter to go through the balcony. We've been through this room. The doors are locked. So either we talk our way in, find the service key. Okay, the service key must not be hard to find. Where would you keep a key? You know what, guys? I got royal jelly for days. Let's take one. And let's spend the points right here, right now. Pick Shouldn't this damn difficult. lock. I'm coming, Emily. I hope you do not mind that I've just broken into your room. Like I said, we ain't here to make seem friends. To be the room for my vision. No, and and you know what? We won't be doing a whole lot of investigating here because there could be a stunning British beauty sleeping in this bed. Is she there? Yes, she is. Oh gosh, guys. Okay. Shush. It's Emily's room. Quiet. She's fast asleep. God, she sleeps in some sexy outfits. Oh, go Emily's body? Okay, move away from the bed. Damn right. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this works. It does. Okay. Oh! I'll tell you what my instinct was to do there, guys. It certainly wasn't to move Sir, away. I understand your eagerness, but the pressure on my family complicates the task. Relax, my friend. Your relatives will soon be huh. safe. So what I saw in my vision really did happen. <sighs> yes, well, it did. I hope I haven't missed anything important. I thank you so much. Don't mention it. Now that's settled, let us speak about your support. Yes. Right. You mentioned earlier some assistance from the Golden Order? Absolutely. I have concluded an agreement with their leader, Lady Sarah Faustine du Richet. Another case that Mother didn't tell me about. The funds from the Order will finance the building of a foundry in Tuscany. You will soon be able to count on a hundred or more cannons for your future campaigns. I, oh, wow. I was not expecting so much help from you. Uh, when can I meet this uh, de Richet? Well, right now, fool. unfortunately, <laughs> something has cropped up. De Richet has disappeared. Disappeared? What? Here? 
Yes, but the staff are redoubling efforts to find her, I assure you. So the agreement, is it on or off? It is on. Her right-hand man has just arrived here to help us find her. And it is none other than her son, Louis Maurras de Richet. I wager he will ensure his mother's commitments are met. Louis. Not an easy name to live with in these times. Uh, right. Of course. But from now on, you will deal with him. This man. It can only be Mortimer. Very well. Only. I will seek him out. Ah! Merde. Oh no! Okay, do I have a- is this a moment where I need to react? It's slow-mo. Opportunity missed, agility skill required. We're screwed! Well, I'd better get away from here. Oh, guys. We need that agility fricked up skill. Consult your journal frequently. Okay, now to ogle Sarah's body. <laughs> Not Sarah, Emily. Sarah's my mom. Louis? Emily? Uh, I can explain. Perhaps, but remain still. Uh, disconcerted. Someone threw you off balance. The cost of effort points is increased. Maybe this is the time. Use a golden elixir to cure yourself. Kill. Okay. But but first, oh, no. you could perhaps remove the... Which one's which? Which one's which? Uh, Made from my throat? Which one's which? What are my inventory? Golden elixir is this one. You have one. ten seconds okay. to explain your presence here. Um, apologize politely. Madam, ten seconds isn't enough for me to tell you how sorry I really am for having entered your room. And I mean that sincerely. That's a good start. What are you doing in my oh, room? Oh, guys, this, this is a confrontation. Reassure, I don't have the points. I did if I do this. Uh huh. First of all, let's, let's do that. Calm. My being here is just a coincidence. Anyway, I seriously doubt what I'm doing in your room is really the question that interests you. Now, is it? Clever boy. So answer the question that does interest me. What were you really doing on the balcony? Ah, uh, God, these. Okay, I don't have the. I don't have the Going skills. Going outside was the only way I could listen to what was being said oh. in the room next door. If you knew the trouble I went through to get to the balcony, that reminds me of a story. Last time I was in Madrid, I had to climb up a church and- Louis, were... your little anecdote is quite fascinating. <laughs> but stop wasting my time. Has this anything to do with the order? Final step. Oh, yes. We know she's Washington part of it. Washington informed me you were part of the order. You too? Yes. You're part of this too? We know. Yes. We know. Now answer. Do these events concern me? Do they involve the Golden Order? Alright, we gotta a make a friend, guys. Between a French soldier and some other individual. And what were they talking about? It seems Mother is involved. Something about a military campaign? Apparently my mother validated an order of cannons to help this man. Really? Since when does the Order finance wars? As far as I know, since never. Did they give any details? A date? What they were for? Nothing at all. Did you know anything about this? No, but I won't forget. Thank you. All right, Louis. Oh. I might have overreacted a bit. Please do excuse me, but next time, please try knocking on my door. I'd be delighted to open it for you. Oh, well, oh baby! I'll remember in that case. Good night, Emily. Good night, Louis. Look at her. All right, guys, there was a lot of quick thinking involved, a heck of a lot of quick thinking, and we're going to hurry back just in case Washington is double-checking on us. You know what I mean? We said we were sick. Uh, uh, no, no, our room is, is this way. That's Napoleon. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So there was a lot of quick thinking. I took a golden elixir. I took a bunch of those royal jellies, which, I mean, it shows the payoff, right? It shows Duke the reason for doing everything we did there the reason for taking the time to explore and with the one character I seem to care about, mainly because she's a dime piece 
Um, we seem to be doing well. I had zero blunders, and I was ready. Your Eminence, what are you doing here? I wanted to speak to you about something important. Damn it! Do you still have my letter on you? The one I gave you in the hall? Why do you ask? Not on, not on me. I have a name to add to it. Uh, okay. So, okay. So let's, okay. One sec here, guys. Let's go here. Uh, the next skill use is free. I say we use one of the... Oh, no. Okay. This one. Let's use it. And we'll lie. It would have been my pleasure, but I don't have it with me, Your Eminence. Why is that? You remember that I came here to meet my mother. Well, I still haven't found her, and it's beginning to worry me. Diversion. The of your letter and not knowing where it all might lead me, I've hidden it. His Eminence wouldn't want me to take the slightest risk, would he? Excellent initiative, my son. Uh, but please tell me you haven't simply left it in your room, my son. Don't worry. It is perfectly safe and sound. Certainly. But where? Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm not at liberty to say. The walls have ears here, and I refuse to put any of these people in danger. Give me the name you wanted to add, and I'll pass it on to my mother. Very well. You seem to know what you're doing. Who? Well Here done! Is the name. Jean-Baptiste Joseph Goebel. I know him. No, I don't. Don't forget to give this name to your mother, or a good man will end up dead. Are you prepared to trust me or not? Of course, my son. Have a good night. All right, so he doesn't seem evil. He seems to be a man of his word. His letter said what it was supposed to say in it, and he's being pretty darn honest with us so far. Our room is right next to his, so, um, this one? That's right. Okay, guys. Well played so far. This particular chunk of the adventure has been action-packed. I'm exhausted. I better go to bed. My hope here... If Mother stayed here right before me, you never know. My hope here is that these six points get restored overnight. I would hope that we get these points back. If not, it's going to be a tough day tomorrow. Episode 1, Part Chapter 2, Night Stroll. Once again, no failures, guys. We're killing it! Success. I passed through Lady Hillsborough's room. I have been spying on the men in my vision. I convinced Lady Hillsborough of my innocence. Alternate paths. I could have helped Washington. I could have prevented a violent confrontation. That must have been with uh, the, um, that woman, Adams, Elizabeth Adams. And I could have found something out about my mother's past. Probably all of those involved the Washington path. But guys, we're done. We're early on. Pardon me. We're early on in this portion of the video, so we're going to get more points to spend here, I believe, before the story continues and before this part of the playthrough continues. Well done. Objectives completed. Traits unlocked. Items found. Well done, guys. I could have spent more time finding items, but I was afraid not to hurry. Um, we were in a couple of different rooms that we really could have searched around. I probably could have ogled Emily a little bit, but whatever. All right, let's spend some time unlocking more skill points. All right, guys, we have the opportunity to spend some more points. Four points, in fact. As you can see, our adventures have gotten us quite far. One more for manipulation. Two more for agility, and I know agility would be useful. Three more for psychology, so that is going to be rough. And it seems as though we're leveling this up uh, sort of passively without uh, putting a focus on it. I haven't added those extra points. Those have happened due to our successes. And vigilance. This is something I did put a point into last time, so we're going to put two of our points there and give ourselves the first level of agility. This blue comes from the book, uh, so uh, by I think by the time the next day hits, that will become a permanent point. We did get some practice in diversion, which is great. Subterfuge I have already done. Okay, I'm going to put one more into manipulation because it will pay off immediately on an additional skill. And I think, while we're here, I'm going to put one more into agility, and next time round, we will be able to start doing some agility-based tasks. I hope that's worth it. All right, guys, so vigilance unlocked, manipulation unlocked, another point in agility, and so far, I think we have done pretty well. Let's validate these and move on. 
I would be tempted to end this episode, guys, but I need to see what happens next. Let's make this a longer episode rather than the shortest of the ones so far. I can't resist. All right. In my vision yesterday, I saw that Mother had this room before me. I better search the room. Who knows? Maybe she left me something behind. Maybe. So we have done a little looking around in this room, guys, but clearly there will be some new things available for us to check out at this moment. Ooh, and your next reading, we have not found that many books, so I have the opportunity to add a skill point in science, etiquette, or diversion. Diversion, we are actually on our way to, if you have a look right here. Um, science would be here, and etiquette right here. Interesting. I'm going to go ahead and do the diversion-based book. I think that's probably Wise Laws of Gallantry, a play that might first appear that might appear trivial that might first appear trivial but is in reality an informed analysis of the codes of polite society. I think that's probably a good idea. Let us whoops. Let us begin the quest. Look for clues on your mother. And this quest, guys, once I've completed it, will probably be the, the end of the episode. But let's do some exploring. Let's have a look around and see what we might find to tell us what has happened to our mother. Nothing. Of course not. I just slept in that darn bed. The torture of Ixion, condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. All right. Balcony we will check out after. Let's, let's do a little uh, counterclockwise circle around the room. Okay, so I thought I saw this earlier, but I couldn't click on it. I haven't Maybe even it had time there. to unpack my cases. We've read the letter. We've looked at most of the art in this place. Ooh, and we can now look over here at the desk. Writing material. Right. Inspect. Okay, vigilance paying off, guys. From what I see, no ink's ever been used on this quill. The smell reminds me of something. It smells like lemon. That's odd. I have no idea where I've picked this up, guys, whether it was some Sherlock Holmes story or some book I read as a kid, but I'm pretty sure that you can use lemon juice to write an invisible message that I believe... Now, we're going to find out here in a minute if I'm crazy, but I believe lemon juice and then um, heat? Is that how that works? Incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio okay, we looked at that already. his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on, but doesn't touch. I was just looking at the fire just to see if that my theory was right. We'll go outside here in a moment, guys. Yeah, I think you can use lemon juice to write and then later reveal it. I was really into spy stuff as a kid. So, um, so for some reason, that sticks with me. A quill with the... the, the um, it's vaguely reminiscent. We're going to find out if that's a thing. Um... We can't leave. Our mission is located in this room. Another fireplace with some hot embers. Clearly that... Okay. 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 This is the thing I was looking for, guys. I swore I spotted these so Look, early on. Markings on the floor. Eh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Are you joking, Louis? <laughs> or I hope you're joking. Tell me... Tell me that you don't... Of course that's a secret passage, idiot. Look at the shape of those. Why would that be there otherwise? Okay, what is that? Uh, here, let's take a look. Whoops, let's take a look at the map. This would lead into, I think, is this where the Cardinal's room is? Or was this his? Either way, there is a bedroom, one of our bedroom neighbors. Uh, oh, this bookcase is well stocked. Oh, this book has been put back the wrong way round. Mom. A Voyage Around the World. The travel log of the explorer, Louis-Antoine de Bougainville. The Bougainville. One of my mother's favorite books. What a coincidence. And I don't believe in coincidences. It's just too much. I don't know what's going on here, but if you felt threatened, I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, mother? found it. A faint sign of the order. Barely visible. Mother, 
You undoubtedly must have hidden a clue in this book. Let's see if I can find anything else in this room. Uh, what? Okay, obviously, guys. Uh, let's just do this. Uh, I'm really low on this royal jelly stuff. Let's go ahead and take it. Just, I know we're gonna need it. The paper's rougher around the writing. The paper's moist here. Very light stain, barely uh, visible. Obviously, this is the lemon juice the writing. Reminds me of something. Like I couldn't notice that oh, without the on, skill think. point. Think. Let's recap. My mother was in this room. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. She must have left something behind. She applied a liquid to the book. Yeah, I've already figured it out. The writing materials. The quill has been used, but not with regular ink. A message using invisible ink. I bet she used a limit to leave a message. Now, how do I reveal the message? All right. Now, am I a crazy person, guys? I knew part A of this mystery. What do we use? What do we use to unlock it? Inferno by Dante. Okay. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Oh, Very uh, jolly. our thing, our, our, our thing opened on this candle. Do you remember that? The scene today opened on, nope. Fireplace, I did look at the fireplace earlier. Maybe there's an additional clue here now that we've looked. Take the ink, maybe. Okay. Ink pot. Okay, so that's not the lemon juice. There are these a um, embers. No. Oh! A lit candle. Think about what it can be used for. That's etiquette. I'm just going to take it, and we'll see if I need to waste those skill points. I've already... I don't need you to tell me the answer, Louie. I've freaking got it. Let's see if we can go over here and use this candle to light uh, to light this thing up, to open up this secret. I probably need to spend the skill points, but we'll find out here in a sec. Pour some ink. Burnish the page with the candlestick. Aha! It's working! The heat reveals the message. I'm a genius! Let's see what my mother wrote. Where all eyes size you up, you must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, could be anywhere. Yeah, it's a painting After that, for she sure. Adds, Beware hero. The beast always charges the best protected soldier. And that's its weakness. What is my mother trying to tell me? Since you've gone to so much trouble, you must not have only found something important, but you must have also felt like you were in great danger. Now I'd better hurry and find that damn Medusa. Uh -oh. Sir, dinner is served in the Red Salon. Typical. I'm not hungry. Please give my apologies to all the guests. Uh, Sir Holm requests your presence, sir. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait before going and looking for my Medusa. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. It bothers me, guys, that they keep referring to him as Sir Holm. If I'm not mistaken, the, the, the tradition is to say your first... He'd be Sir Gregory. He wouldn't be Sir Holm. You're not Sir John. You're Sir Elton. Sir, well, obviously, you just say Sir Elton John. Sir, Sir Richard Branson. Obviously, with all those people, you say the full name. Uh, Sir Jorah from Game of Thrones. You don't say Sir Mormont. That doesn't add up. Look. Markings on the floor. Eh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Okay, indeed, guys. All right, so uh, we have discovered a secret message written in lemon juice revealed by heat, and somehow, due to my nerdy childhood, I actually knew how that was going to work before it happened, guys. The Medusa, the Gorgon, the beast charges the, sol the soldier. There is so much for us to uncover, but I think, 
I think we should leave that here. I think we should call an end to part three of our playthrough of The Council, episode one, The Mad Ones, and continue this in the next part of the playthrough, geeks. Thank you so much for watching. I am UTC. If you are enjoying, be sure to leave a like. Let me know in the comments. Popping up on the screen right now is a playlist that will let you dive back into the series from the beginning and watch all the way through to whatever point I'm at. This is going to be a multi-part adventure, and right now all we have is episode one, but the playlist on your screen right now, by the time you're seeing it, may have many, many episodes of the playthrough. I'm having an awesome time. So click on the playlist to watch the entire series. Click on my face to subscribe, or if you truly enjoy this series, check out the Patreon page. Support me for a buck a month, and you will do so much more than you will ever do by watching ads. That does it for this one, geeks. I cannot wait to continue my adventure. I will see you in the next part of this playthrough.